Good morning, Math 8 students, and welcome to another math episode with Mr. Prashat. So now this is going to be a quick one, all right? So a quick one as we go through. Um, this is finding slope and a linear equation in slope-intercept form from a table, okay? So here's our table. It's a quick x-y table. We got our input, which is our x, our output, which is our y. And the other quick review is we're going to take a quick look at what slope-intercept form looks like. So the equation of a line is, as we all know, y equals mx plus b. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. We're going to identify our slope. Our slope is always our m. And our m, being our slope, is always going to be rise over y. The rise is representative of our y, and the run is representative of our x. Okay, our b value is our y-intercept. I'm just going to put y-intercept there. That's where the graph begins. Okay, so you can see that. That's up there. That's our quick review. Now I'm going to erase it. Okay, it's gone. So let's take a look at our table. So we have to find a pattern or a sequence. So we'll start out with purple, and if we look at x, we go from negative 1 to 0. And if you look at that, you know that we're adding 1. And if we go from 0 to 1, we know that we're adding 1. If we go from 1 to 2, we're adding 1. If we go to 2 to 3, we're adding 1. That's a constant um, um, change, or that's a constant sequence. Now let's move over to red. We'll go check out our y. We're going from negative 18 to negative 9. Okay, if you know that, we're going, or we're going up and we're adding 9. From negative 9 to 0, we're adding 9. You see that consistency? Right? It's happening every time from 9 to 18, we're going plus 9. Now, like we said before, slope is change in y over change in x. So I'm going to put my slope down. I'm going to put my delta y, which is, just means change, over delta x. And I'm going to know that that equals, well, 9 over 1. Right? Because we take our y, 9, and we take our 1, 9 over 1. So that's our slope. Slope is, um, we could rise 9 and go to the right 1. Right? There we go. What kind of slope is this? Well, it's a positive slope, right? So if we were to graph this, it'd be a positive slope. So I'm just going to put a positive. That's a positive slope. How many slopes do you see? Well, there's only one, right? Not a trick question there. Where does the graph cross the y-axis? Well, if we look at our graph, the alarm system goes off and it says, Oh, Mr. Frechette, I know the y-intercept y or where this graph is going to cross the y-axis is where I see an x value of zero. Uh-oh, it's right here. There's our x value of 0. What is our y value? It's negative 9. So in this case, our b value, or our starting value, or our initial value, or our starting point, or our beginning, is going to be at negative 9. Okay? So, what is the slope and y-intercept of this table? We already talked about that. So here we're going to put in our equation. What is our equation for this line? We have the information that we need. We have this right here, and we have our slope up here. So we can write our equation, right? y equals mx plus b, all right? That's our standard form for a linear equation. Now we're just going to put it together. What's our m? Well, it's 9. So y equals 9x. What's our b? Oh, minus 9. There's our equation, right? Now, here's the last question, okay? You don't really have to think about this, but is there a solution to this problem? Why or why not? Well, we've been talking about systems, and systems require more than one graph, okay? So there's only one graph here. There's only one line. If we were to graph, this would be one line, so there's no solution. No, there's not a solution. No solution, because we're only looking at one line. There's nothing for it to intersect with. So why or why not? Well, there's nothing for it to intersect with. You only have one line. So that's how we're going to finish this. There's only one line. All right, peeps, we're done. Any questions or concerns, email me or Miss McKeechick, and we'll see you in class this morning. All right, this is slope and slope-intercept form or a linear equation from a table. Mr. Perchette is out.